continue on with our coverage, our extended breaking news coverage at 11 a.m. here. I'm Adam Cooperstein, and we're glad to have you with us after this earthquake has shaken the tri-state area. Storm Team 4's Dave Price is in the Weather Center now with what else we're learning about the earthquake that hit the tri-state. All right, let's keep this in mind, Adam, as we rejoin you at 11 o'clock. A reminder uh, that a magnitude 4.8 earthquake struck at 1023 this morning uh, in the area of Tewksbury, New Jersey. Now, what we're waiting for is that secondary information about how shallow or how deep this uh, earthquake was, uh, because certainly it was felt far to the east, far to the north, to the south and southwest uh, around our area, and of course, uh, certainly within the five boroughs of New York. Uh, as we take a look at the last recorded earthquake in New Jersey, it was White House Station, and it was a, uh, a light quake on March 14th. That shows you how often we feel some sort of earthquakes in the tri-state area uh, with little to no effect and certainly no headlines. What makes this different is this is a rather strong earthquake for our area. Uh, we are going to uh, continue to get you information, but keep in mind, I want to remind you, 2.5 to 5.4 earthquakes are often felt but rarely cause uh, major damage, typically only minor damage. The estimated number of earthquakes between a 2.5 and a 5.4 are 500,000 a year. So it gives you an idea. This is not exceptional when you look at this number or this occurrence from a global standpoint, but certainly an hour. I got the same alert he got. I got it too. I guess everybody from New York and New Jersey got the same text saying that there was an earthquake 4. Point, well, my, the text said 4.7 and the TV says 4.8. So the video stopped because I got the text message. Earthquake as of now, but again, that emergency alert asking people to remain indoors at this time. Let's go to News Force Andrew Siff. He is live at the Office of Emergency Management. And this is only proof that the Yankees are going to shake up the world in 2024. Of course, Yankee fans would say something like that when an earthquake happens out here on opening day. Fans continuing to arrive here at Yankee Stadium. Of course, they're expecting to have a great day out here, but some people concerned about aftershocks. you got to remember, some of these folks are going to be sitting high up in Yankee Stadium, and the last thing they would want to feel is the ground start to shake, and they're sitting that high up. So there are a few concerns about that. More people are finding out about the earthquake just by getting alerts on their phones. As I said, a few people have told us that they did feel something, but everybody is shocked and stunned that on this opening day, there would be an earthquake and you can feel it here in New York City, not so much in the Bronx, but they know that an earthquake has occurred here on opening day at Yankee Stadium. That's the latest line for the Bronx. Anthony Johnson, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Yanks getting overshadowed by an earthquake. Thank you for that, Anthony. Oh, what a thunk it. Um, let's go back to downtown Brooklyn where we have the